Hello guys, welcome back to the DNA Medical Series. I'm Damar and in today's video we're going to look on vaginal odor. So there are different smells that the vagina can have and we're going to look on some of them today. But before we get into it, please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also remember to follow our Instagram page at DN underscore medical series. Now the smell and also the taste in some case of your vagina may be dependent on a lot of different factors. One such factor is your diet. So based on the food that you eat, your vagina may have a particular smell as well as a particular taste. Now fruit such as pineapple gives it like a sweet kind of smell or taste. However, food such as garlic can give it an offensive odor. Also, it is dependent on the pH of the vagina. Now the pH of the vagina is usually as acidic about 3.5 to 4.5 and this pH is basically maintained by a bacteria called lactobacilli. Now this bacteria keeps it at this pH so that other bad bacteria cannot grow and so when there is not a lot of this bacteria you can also get an offensive odor. So every vagina has its own unique smell so don't be expecting your vagina to be smelling like rainbows and ponies and flowers and candies no that's not the case it usually has a mild smell so once it's not offensive or it's not accompanied by any abnormal vaginal discharge which we talk about in a video you can check out that in the link above then you should be fine so we're just going to look on different smells both normal and abnormal of the vagina so the first smell that your vagina can have is tangy or like a sour smell and this is usually because it's acidic and because of the bacteria that we talked about the lactobacilli you may find your vagina smelling like this this is completely normal and there is nothing wrong if your vagina smells like this the next smell that your vagina can have is sweet smelling or like molasses and this is basically due to the fruits that you may eat as i said before pineapple can make it smell like this but also for bacterial purposes so again your vaginal ph is ever changing because of the different organisms that are present in the vagina and sometimes it may smell a little sweet does that mean something is wrong with you no it's not this is also a completely normal smell of the vagina the next smell that your vagina can have is a smell of copper pennies or a metallic smell now this is usually due to blood so bleeding anything that causes vaginal bleeding you may be on your period and you're bleeding but this scent should not linger long after your period has passed and the reason for this is because blood contains iron and this iron can contribute to the metallic scent that you may have also if you're having rough intercourse and there is small bleeding in the vagina then this can also cause iron in the blood to give it a metallic scent if you're having unprotected sex and semen gets into the vagina then this can also contribute to the smell all right next we have the fishy odor so fishy odor is a sign of bacterial vaginosis now what occurs in bacterial vaginosis is that something changes the ph of your vagina and so the lactobacilli they don't work as efficiently as they used to to get rid of the bad bacteria now these bad bacteria then grow and it causes the vagina to have this fishy odor due to other bacteria that are present in the vagina also trichomoniasis which is a very common curable sexual transmitted infection which can be cured with antibiotics can also cause this fishy odor so please check this out with your doctor if you're having this smell next we have the smell of bleach or chemical this can also be a sign of bacterial vaginosis due to different bacteria that are present However, more commonly, it's usually due to some problems with your urine. So this can be a sign of urinary tract infection, which is very, very common in females as well as ammonia is in your urine. So when there's a buildup of urine and so if urine gets into the area like your underwear and you don't shower regular, then you can have this ammonia buildup and smells like bleach or chemical. Also, if you're dehydrated then there's more ammonia that is concentrated in your urine and you may get this bleach smell 
The next smell that we're going to talk about is a skunky smell or smelling like body odor. So just like your armpit, your vagina can have a similar scent and this is usually due to hygiene. So you're not showering properly or you're not showering enough and there is build up of sweat and bacteria grow on sweat and give this offensive body odor like smell so this can easily be prevented by just showering regular changing your underwear at an appropriate time and also to reduce emotional stress because when your body is stressed it can produce more sweat in order to try to cool down your body and when bacteria gets in this sweat it can cause this offensive smell that you will get so the last smell or odor that we're going to talk about is probably the most offensive kind of odor you can get so it's a smell of rotten egg or like something has died or decay and this scent is usually due to something that's in the vagina that's not supposed to be there so there is this foreign object that is present in the vagina and it's either decaying or it is triggering your body to react in certain ways produce certain bacteria and cause infection in your vagina so please try not to leave anything inside of your vagina especially for a long time such as your yoni pearls or if you're using using some products as well as if you're on your period towards the end and you should put on a tampon um, please remember to take the tampon out because if you leave the tampon inside for days and you do not remember then this is one of the most common causes of this rotten smell also don't forget your STDs can also cause offensive odor so like your gonorrhea your chlamydia and other sexual transmitted disease please screen for those and ensure that those are not the reason for causing your offensive odor so those are basically the major scents that you can get or order from your vagina and also please remember to take note of your body you should know how your vagina smells so that if the smell changes then you can appreciate it and you can seek the doctor as soon as possible now when you should see the doctor is if you're having any discharge abnormal discharge sometimes some discharge may be normal so you can check out our video on vaginal discharge as said before to see what kind of discharge are normal or abnormal as well as if you're having any itchiness or any burning or pain pain during sex or out of sex if you have any thick cottage cheese discharge that can also be a sign of yeast infections that needs treatment as well as if you're having any vaginal bleeding that is not related to your period then you should also check that out okay remember to know your body and if you have any comments or questions please drop them in the comment section below of this video and please check out our other videos which will talk about other topics as well so that's it for this video see you in the next one goodbye